My only concern is is the managing expectations and the cost associated with this. Not that this isn't important, but when you put it into the into the hierarchy of all the things we need in Stafford County, the unsafe roads, the you know the the high schoolers initiative to take over control of all the the vegetation alongside all the secondary roads. I mean, I, you know, I could go down a list of all the things um, that have to be there. I have concerns that by putting this in, we're going to basically tell people we're we're going to be moving forward and. I personally don't see we should have added it to the bond referendum if we wanted to to do something that dramatic uh, in dealing with it but that's too late so maybe we have to do that in the future but that's my concern we haven't cost estimated it and uh, it's we're now going to have it it's it's got to compete it's got to compete with schools it's got to compete with road projects it's got to compete all the way down the line and everything we spend money and um, I think Mr. Snellings and I just said it's you know it, it's a hard sell to not improve an unsafe road as opposed to building a new bike bike lane. So those are my concerns. I mean, I'm going to vote for the plan. I think it's good to have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you won't even won't even put it in your you know your stack of considerations. But I uh, I really have my doubts. So Ms. Mao. Well, I agree with you, Mr. Dudenheffer, and I agree with, with the competing priorities and what Ty used to say, a resource-constrained environment. Um, if we don't put it out there and we don't make it a component part of the plan, what will happen is we'll have these road improvements that don't take these things into consideration. And so, you know, we, we need to set some sort of expectations because this is definitely a way we need to go. I feel for, for the young lady who came up and spoke, I, I see bicyclists going down Hartwood Road and I'm like what are you thinking and um, but it's it's so it's a plan and as we move forward with new developments and stuff like that we add these component pieces more and more and uh, but without the plan we wouldn't think of it when we're doing these these road improvements and so I do appreciate that Mr. Dude Heifer and um, it's just another thing we need here in Stafford County Mr. Cohen. I, and I'll just, not to be a little Tommy Sunshine, but um, I think this is a great thing. That, a, when we did the comp plan and I was on the, comp, the planning commission, we talked about this. So it's just, to me, following through on something that Mrs. Zuroff worked on really diligently several years ago. Secondly, now we can go to a developer and say, hey, this is what we need. We need sidewalks. And it's part of not just what we want. It is in the comp plan. And so to me, it, it brings it full circle that now we have leverage. And I think that's a good thing. Anyone else? I am not going to support this. Uh, I think it's going to set up some false expectations. I don't think there's any way we're going to meet this plan. And I'm afraid our roads are going to be in competition with trails. Because if this comes in as a transportation proffer, uh, we're going to be hard pressed to say, no, I don't need a trail there. I need another better road there. So I'm going to vote against this. I use trails. Um, I walk almost, I used to walk every day. I've kind of gotten away from it, as you can tell, but I'm trying to get back into it. But I, I just can't in good conscience support this because I think people have some false expectations that are just not going to be there. And the cost, you know, we're talking about almost $2 million a mile. Uh, that's very, very expensive. With that said, cast your votes. Motion passes six to one.